Greetings citizens of the world. President Donald Trump said Tuesday that the United States is ready to go to war with North Korea, if that's what it takes to make its outlaw regime end its nuclear missile program. We are totally prepared for the second option, not a preferred option, Trump said at a White House news conference with Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. But if we take that option, it will be devastating, I can tell you that, devastating for North Korea. That's called the military option. If we have to take it, we will, he said. Trump said North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is acting very badly. He's saying things that should never, ever be said. And we're replying to those things, but it's a reply. It's not an original statement, it's a reply, Trump said. North Korea has been a thorn in world side for years, he argued. North Korea is a situation that should have been handled 25 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, and 5 years ago, and it could have been handled much more easily, he said. You had various administrations, many administrations which left me a mess. But I'll fix the mess, Trump added. Trump also said North Korea should not be supported by any nation. It is time for all responsible nations to join forces to isolate the North Korean menace. North Korean nuclear weapons and missile development threaten the entire world with unthinkable loss of life. All nations must act now to ensure the regime's complete denuclearization, he said. According to Trump, the United Nations and China have helped put unprecedented diplomatic pressure on North Korea. I appreciate the United Nations Security Council voting twice, unanimously, 15 to nothing, twice, to adopt hard-hitting resolutions against North Korea. I have recently issued tough new sanctions against those who do business with this outlaw regime, and I applaud China's latest action to restrict its trade with North Korea," Trump said. He continued, and, in particular, I applaud China for breaking off all banking relationships with North Korea something that people would have thought unthinkable even two months ago. I want to thank President Xi. Also on Tuesday, Marine Corps General Joseph Dunford, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said North Korea does not appear to be bracing for an imminent conflict. While the political space is clearly very charged right now, we haven't seen a change in the posture of North Korean forces, and we watch that very closely, Dunford told a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing. However, Dunford was clear about what North Korea represents. North Korea certainly poses the greatest threat today, Dunford testified. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below.